living here in the Okanagan, of course, it's uh, very, very sunny in, in the summertime. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, I, I mean, right into September, October, it can be really fairly intense heat. Um, Lisa, you, you said this to me, mm -hmm. uh, and I was shocked, but, but kind of relieved at the mm -hmm. same time. You said uh, putting not putting sunscreen on your children nowadays is almost like into child abuse. Mm -hmm. Talk about why you would say that. It's just, it's so commonplace. Um, the idea that sun is bad is, is so prevalent. And we want to protect our children, and, and that's so important. Um, we need to protect our children, but I don't feel the sun is something to protect our children from. We desperately need vitamin D, and we are so deficient in vitamin D in Canada that a study found that if we simply brought our vitamin D level up to a healthier level, um, we would actually save taxpayers $14.4 billion in healthcare wow. costs and, and the lives of, of 38,000 people a year. It's wow. quite remarkable because vitamin D is, is important in immunomodulation. Immunomodula um, when I work with cancer patients, we definitely look at vitamin D levels. Um, it's, it's important for just overall health, and we get it from the sun. That's the best place that we can possibly get it. But we can't get it when we cover our skin with sunscreen. What would take 10 or 15 minutes now takes four to five hours. So even in the sun, summer, we can become very deficient because in vitamin D because many of us aren't going to spend six hours with our arms and legs and face exposed to get the, the proper vitamin D levels. It's a lot easier in 15 to 20 minutes. That's interesting because, you know, with all the sunscreen, um, does it allow us to spend more time in the sun? But it, it's almost like a step backwards because we're not getting the. Like I love how I how the sun feels on yeah. my skin, uh -huh. and you know, it, 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 it makes it makes me feel less like a mushroom. And this is this is the interesting thing. If we look at the studies, um, there's two really prominent studies. One that followed the slip slop slap campaign in Australia, and what they found is the areas that they promoted sunscreen the most had the highest rates of skin cancer years later. Um, but and and that sounds really counterintuitive. This is why we're putting on sunscreen. But we have to think about the chemicals that we're putting on our skin and that that they absorb. And if you want to question whether or not we absorb things we put on our skin, take a piece of garlic and rub it on the bottom of your foot. You will taste garlic. Yeah, it's quite remarkable. And what they have actually found as well in studies is um, sunscreen doesn't protect against free radical damage. And that's what creates cancer is, is oxidative stress, free radical damage. And the sun is a, uh, it does give you free radical damage. But they found that people who put sunscreen on 15 minutes in the sun, the people with sunscreen on had higher rates of free radical damage. Um, but we don't see it, so we can't protect against it. Instead, what I do is I use food. I use green vegetables and colorful berries, and I, and I eat tons of those before going out in the sun, and that gives me antioxidant protection against the free radicals. I'm very, very fair. I do watch to make sure I don't burn, uh, but I, I use natural sunscreens to make sure I can get my vitamin D levels without creating the, the harmful burn. Agree, disagree? Oh, this is, yeah. <laughs> uh, I lived in the Caribbean for four years, mm -hmm. and um, the reason sunscreen was invented was for the military to stop burning. Now you go to the Caribbean, trust me, you mm -hmm. will understand that concept. It was not built for anything else except to stop burning. Suntan lotion is very, very effective in stopping a sunburn. Uh, now, recently, last half, four or five years, they started getting into this UVA, UVB. Um, cellular damage, primarily UVA, burning damage, primarily UVB, Suntan lotion until very recently was only UVB. So arguably, suntan lotion isn't going to do a whole lot. There's never been a sun, uh, uh, there are studies, lies, lies, and studies mm -hmm. that say good stopping cancer, bad stopping cancer. Mm -hmm. There's definitely no agreement on this. European sun lotion is radically better. They have a better, different theory. The FDA and the Canadian Food and Drug do very little for labeling and our protection. Sun lotion. Uh, most of the studies will say the problem with sun lotion is you stay out longer. Now, the one thing about going out in the sun with no lotion on, you're out of it pretty quick. 15, 20 minutes, a guy like me and a girl like you, we're burned. Mm -hmm. Time to leave. Um, everything she says about vitamin D is true. Interestingly enough, in the 90s, if I tried prescribing vitamin D, I'd go to jail. Mm -hmm. It's a very new phenomenon, yep. vitamin D coming back in vogue. It was mm -hmm. shoo shooed for yeah. decades. Especially at the levels we, we recommend now. Yeah, I mean, wow. it's, yeah. It's, and it's the cheapest stuff in the world. There's yep. a, a, Anyway, there's a famous PhD in Manitoba. He wrote a study. He said if uh, vitamin D was patentable and expensive, we'd be on it by law. You should mm -hmm. all be on it from September till May. Mm -hmm. It's cheap. Take a liquid. Yep. Piece of cake. 
the first primary thing about sun is uh, shade. The second one is get out of it between what, 11 and 4, mm -hmm. something like that? Which I think people do with or without sunscreen. Mm -hmm. Sure. But especially us who live yeah. here. But if you have sunscreen know. on, you're getting no vitamin D if you're yeah. not in that intense. But if you yeah. get 10 or 15 minutes in the intense yeah. heat, then you'll get yeah. huge amounts of vitamin yeah. D. Like a million IUs, something, yeah. something stupid. Like some, like we're talking to people, they can take a thousand doctors, like, whoa. Yeah. You, you get go 10 15 to minutes 000. in the sun, yeah. you're in it for. Mm -hmm. So if you're, sun lotion is important. Mm -hmm. uh, but you want it to have UVB and UVA. Uh, you want at least a 15 to a 30. You want to buy it from Europe if you can. It's way better. You don't want to use the um, molecularized zinc or titanium. You want to use the old school zinc and titanium. There's all sorts of chemicals in them now that absorb UV radiation, and then they will dissipate that radiation off in biotoxins. Mm -hmm. And there's other chemicals they put into that that help absorb that toxin, so less of it goes in your skin. But it's absolutely, I mean. Yeah. Sounds so complicated. Oh, it's well, not. The, 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 uh, many, of the, um, ma many of the chemicals in the North American sunscreens are photocarcinogenic. And so what horrific. that means, mm. when, w inside, if you have it on inside, it doesn't cause, uh, it, it doesn't create carcinogens. But as soon as you go out in the sun, then it becomes carcinogenic. And uh, they've stopped allowing them to be put in new sunscreens years ago, but because of the grandfathering law, they're, they're still in most of them. Uh, and that, and if you if you want to use sunscreen, um, the Environmental Working Group or EWG.org will list um, the sunscreens and which ones are more and more more or less yeah, carcinogenic. So you good. can find a safer one if you do need one. Yeah. yeah. I wonder if we have time to talk about hand sanitizers. Do you guys have opinions <laughs> on hand sanitizers? <laughs> I, I, I think I, sun lotion is an ugly <laughs> topic. I, I, but I but I think when when we hear that someone has a cough or a cold or the flu or or you know yeah. a bug mm -hmm. okay we have to sanitize everything mm -hmm. i very rarely use hand sanitizers it would have to You're be not dead yet? i know oh, it's my. shocking <laughs> um but i i would also like to say that um this year i've only had a very teeny tiny minutia of a cold um a touch of the flu yep. is, is it because maybe i don't go crazy sanitizing everything mm -hmm. i don't know but i think let's explore that uh as we start part two